You may not know some of these actors by name, but you almost certainly know many of their faces. With that in mind, we're taking the opportunity to pay tribute to the actors who you may not know passed away. Number 50. Jonathan Brandis. Jonathan Brandis was 16 when he made Ladybugs. As a child and teenage star for many years, it seemed like he had no shortage of work. He was only 27 years old when he died in 2003, with suicide confirmed as the cause. Number 49. Brad Renfro. Brad skyrocketed to fame at age 11 through his acclaimed work in Joel Schumacher's adaptation of The Client by John Grisham. Oftentimes, he was arrested for possessing cocaine and marijuana. Sadly, the drug played a part in his death. Renfro accidentally overdosed on heroin and morphine in January 2008. Number 48. Lee Thompson Young. Lee Thompson Young's The Famous Jet Jackson was a very popular show on the Disney Channel for some time. Young featured in other projects like Aquila and the Bee and The Hills Have Eyes Too. Unfortunately, his promising career was cut short when he was found to have died by suicide. Number 47. Heather O'Rourke. Best known for playing Carol Ann in the movie Poltergeist, Heather O'Rourke skyrocketed to instant fame with her role. Sadly, Hollywood was left in shock when it was revealed that the 12-year-old star had died while undergoing an operation at a hospital in San Diego. Number 46, Taylor Negron. Negron made memorable appearances on hit TV shows like Seinfeld and Friends. In addition to acting, Negron was an acclaimed writer whose work included published collections of short stories. Sadly, he was 57 when he died of liver cancer in 2015. Number 45, Lisa Robin Kelly. Kelly made audiences laugh for several seasons as part of the ensemble cast of Fox's hit sitcom, That 70s Show, playing Eric Foreman's annoying sister, Lori. Kelly fought addiction, and unfortunately, she passed away a few days after she revealed that she had entered rehab in 2013. Number 44, Rowdy Roddy Piper. Piper's bone-crunching work in They Live helped set the tone for a busy Hollywood career full of B-movie roles and small but unforgettable appearances on television shows like It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Sadly, he died in his sleep in 2015 after a pulmonary embolism triggered a heart attack. Number 43. Sage Stallone. Sage Stallone, who played the part of Robert Rocky Jr. in Rocky V, clearly made a positive impression. After college, he continued working in the industry, carving out a career on his own. News of his death in 2012 at the age of 36 came as a shock. He died of a heart attack brought on by atherosclerosis. Number 42. Dana Hill. Hill featured in various television programs, including Mork and Mindy, Fallen Angel, and Magnum P.I. She's best recognized for playing Audrey Griswold in National Lampoon's European Vacation, replacing Dana Barron from National Lampoon's Vacation. Hill's life and career were both cut short by complications related to her diabetes in 1996. 41. Richard Bonehill Bonehill filled various background roles, but he landed one part that truly stood out from the rest. The original Star Wars trilogy. You'll probably best remember him as Nian Nunb, Lando Calrissian's alien co-pilot on the Millennium Falcon during the attack on the second Death Star. Bonehill died in 2015 at the age of 67. Number 40. Gary Coleman. Anyone who watched sitcoms of the 70s and 80s will immediately remember the catchphrase, What you talking about? Unfortunately, Coleman's young looks and peak height of 4'8 were side effects of medication he was taking for congenital kidney disease. Coleman died in 2010 after a fall at his home. He was 42. Number 39, Earl Hindman. Most 90s kids will remember Hindman as Wilson, the mysterious but friendly neighbor of Tim the Toolman Taylor on the hit sitcom Home Improvement. Hindman died in 2003 at the age of 61 due to lung cancer leaving a generation with fond memories of that lovable neighbor behind the fence, whose face was always half-hidden. Number 38. Chris Penn. The younger brother of veteran actor Sean Penn, Chris Penn followed in his siblings' footsteps. 
Penn is best remembered for his portrayal of mob scion Nice Guy Eddie in Reservoir Dogs. The talented actor died in 2006 at the age of 40 due to cardiomyopathy, a progressive heart disease. Number 37, Richard Griffiths. Richard Griffiths is known by the masses for his portrayal of Harry Potter's uncle, Vernon Dursley. While Dursley was always cruel to the young wizard, fans of the franchise remember his performance well. Griffiths passed away in 2013 at the age of 65 due to complications from heart surgery. Number 36, James Avery. Whether you call him the big guy or Uncle Phil, James Avery earned household name status through his portrayal of Philip Banks on the three top. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. It's sad to learn that Avery had passed away. He died in 2013 from complications following heart surgery at 68. 35. Edward Harriman. Harriman is perhaps best recognized for his role as pompous but warm hearted patriarch Richard Gilmore in Gilmore Girls. In 1987, he played a stepfather from hell, literally, in the vampire movie The Lost Boys. Harriman died of brain cancer at 71 on December 31st, 2014. Number 34, Sky McColl, Bartusiak. Best known for playing Mel Gibson's daughter in the blockbuster The Patriot, Sky McColl Bartusiak was a child actor with a promising future. Bartusiak was found dead in the garage apartment connected to her parents' home in July 2014. It revealed that the 21-year-old died from substance abuse. Number 33, Deezer D. D was one of the foundational actors on hit medical drama, ER. He played nurse Malik McGrath for the show's entire 15-year run, appearing in 188 episodes. Thompson started having heart issues around 2008, but sadly, he died on January 7, 2021 at 55 of a suspected heart attack. Number 32, Catherine Joustin. Despite her late start, Joustin built a career playing one-off but always memorable characters in hit TV series. Her credits include Will and Grace, Gilmore Girls, and Grey's Anatomy. Joustin was first treated for lung cancer in 2001. She died in 2012 at 72. Number 31, Hugh Dane. Hugh Dane's resume reads like a list of the top sitcoms of the 90s and early Orans. However, Dane will most likely be remembered and missed for his role as Hank, the permanently unimpressed security guard in the office. Dane died from pancreatic cancer at 75 on May 16, 2018. Number 30, Kenny Baker. Kenny Baker appeared in the likes of Flash Gordon, Time Bandits, and Amadeus, but he was best known for playing R2-D2, the brave and mischievous Star Wars droid. He was the only person small enough to fit into the costume who was also strong enough to move it. He died at the age of 81 in 2016. Number 29, James Michael Tyler. James Michael Tyler played coffee shop manager Gunther in Friends for all 10 seasons, appearing in 150 episodes total. Tyler was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2018 by the time he announced the cancer had reached stage by 4. He died just a few months later, on October 24, 2021. Number 28. Michael K. Williams. Williams' big break came courtesy of The Wire. He made a splash as Omar Little, an armed robber who targets drug dealers and the most feared man in a territory ruled by violence. Williams died at the age of 54 on September 6, 2021, of what was later confirmed as a drug overdose. Number 27. Wendy Jo Sperber. Wendy was an uncredited dancer in Greece, one of the most famous musicals of all time. She also appeared in episodes of hit TV series Murphy Brown and Will and Grace. In 1997, she was diagnosed with breast cancer, and she died November 29, 2005 at the age of 46. Number 26, Willie Garson. Garson is best known for playing Carrie's gay bestie, Stanford Blatch, in HBO's Sex and the City. He also had a lead role on the USA series, White Collar, where he played Mozzie. Garson died from pancreatic cancer in 2021 at 57. Number 25, Helen McCrory. McCrory was probably best known for playing Narcissa Malfoy, 
the mother of Tom Felton's Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter film franchise. She also owned every scene she appeared in as Polly Gray on Peaky Blinders. She died of breast cancer in 2021 at 52. Number 24. Dustin Diamond Diamond owned his role as the odd man on Saved by the Bell, and he was able to showcase his comedic talent. He later released a behind-the-scenes tell-all book where he aired out all the dirty laundry on his Saved by the Bell co-stars. Diamond died from lung cancer in 2021. Number 23. Louis Anderson Funny Man Louis Anderson had one of the most iconic voices in the world of comedy. He became a critical darling with the FX series Baskets. He also starred in the series as Christine Baskets. Anderson died on January 21, 2022 from lymphoma at the age of 68. Number 22, Glenn Quinn. Fans of 90s sitcoms will surely remember Mark Healy, Becky's delinquent boyfriend on Roseanne. Quinn also played a notable television role, the half-demon clairvoyant Alan Francis Doyle on Angel. He died of an accidental heroin overdose in 2002 at 32. Number 21, Aaron Moran. Moran appeared on every season of Happy Days and starred in one of its spin-offs. Moran continued to find work after Happy Days, but never really returned to the spotlight. She died from cancer in 2017 at the age of 56. Number 20, Mary Pat Gleason. Gleason generally portrayed brash characters, and she had strong comedic timing to go with her over-the-top performances. M. Gleason had almost 200 credits on her resume by the time of her death from cancer in 2020. She was 70. Number 19, Raquel Welch. Raquel Welch was known as a major sex symbol in the 1960s. She made her first splash with the film One Million Years B.C., where she appeared on the movie's poster clad only in an animal skin bikini. Welch died in 2023 at the age of 82. Number 18, Charby Dean. Charby Dean began modeling long before reaching her teenage years. Dean transitioned into acting in 2010 with a debut role in the comedy drama Spud. The young actor died on August 29, 2022 at the age of 32 from bacterial sepsis, shortly after being admitted to hospital. Number 17. Corey Haim Corey Haim was a child star who found fame early on in his career. Haim struggled with substance abuse and mental health issues in his adult life. He died on March 10, 2010 at 38 due to pneumonia, which caused terminal damage to his lungs. Number 16. Kevin Clark The 2003 School of Rock proved to be Clark's only acting credit, but he continued in music and was in some bands throughout his life, including Robbie Goldband and Jess Bess, and The Intentions. Clark was killed on May 26, 2021, at 32 years old when his bicycle was hit by a car in Chicago. 15. Michelle Thomas Michelle Thomas rose to fame in show business after featuring on The Cosby Show. Before landing her role on The Young and the Restless, Thomas had been diagnosed with cancer. Unfortunately, she died on December 23, 1998, at the age of 30. Number 14. Elizabeth Pena Most people will know Elizabeth Pena from her role in Rush Hour, in which she played LAPD detective and bomb expert Tanya Johnson. Pena died on October 14, 2014, at the age of 55 due to cirrhosis of the liver and about three other causes. Number 13. Conchata Farrell Farrell established her acting chops right at the start of her career. Farrell appeared in a number of high-profile films, including Edward Scissorhands and Aaron Brockovich. She died on October 12, 2020 at the age of 77 caused by a cardiac arrest that happened several months before her passing. Number 12. Nick Lashaway Nick Lashaway made his screen debut in the 1997 film Operation Dalmatian, The Big Adventure. One of his final performances came in the comedy drama Girls. He took on the role of Jess's stepbrother, Frank. He died on May 8, 2016, in a road traffic collision at the age of 28. Number 11. Lisa Baines Lisa Baines appeared in more than 80 on-screen releases in addition to her numerous stage performances on and off Broadway. The actor was taken to hospital with a serious head injury on June 4, 2021, after being involved in a collision while crossing the road. Baines died 10 days later from her injuries at the age of 65. Number 10. Johnson Panettiere Johnson Panettiere made his screen debut in 2002, appearing in an episode of the Disney show, Even Stevens. Panettiere died at the age of 28 on February 19, 2023, 
due to cardiomegaly, enlarged heart, coupled with aortic valve complications. Number 9. Dennis Farina Dennis Farina will probably be best remembered for his portrayal of Detective Joe Fontana on Law and Order between 2004 and 2006. On July 22, 2013, Farina died while in hospital after suffering from a pulmonary embolism. He was 69. Number 8. Andy Hallett Lorne Andy Hallett played one of our favorite characters from Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the spin-off Angel. He passed away from congestive heart failure in 2009 at just 33 years old following a five-year battle with heart disease. Number 7. Harold Ramos Harold Ramos was a famous writer and director who had roles in Caddyshack, Groundhog Day, and Analyze This. The Ghostbusters star died in 2014 at the age of 70 after a long battle with an autoimmune inflammatory disease. Denise Dun Tang Khan. The giant of a man we all fell in love with in The Green Mile is sadly with us no longer. The actor secured an Academy Award nomination for his breakout role in The Green Mile, 1999. He sadly passed away in 2012 from a heart attack. Number 5. James Redhorn James Reebhorn will be remembered for his roles in Scent of a Woman, alongside Al Pacino, as Secretary of Defense Albert Nimziki in Independence Day. Sadly, Reebhorn passed away after a long battle with skin cancer in March 2014. Number 4. Wade Dominguez Wade Dominguez was best known for his portrayal as Emilio Ramirez in Dangerous Minds. He also featured in City of Industry, 1997, and Shadow of Doubt, 1998. Wade died on August 26, 1998 in Los Angeles, California, USA, at 32 years after being diagnosed with AIDS. Number 3. Gregory Hines Hines is one of the most celebrated tap dancers of all time. As an actor, he's best known for Wolfen, 1981. The Cotton Club, 1984, and The Gregory Hines Show, 1997 to 1998. Hines died of liver cancer on August 9, 2003. He was 57 years old at the time of his death. Number 2. Adrian Shelley Shelley became known from Hal Hartley's The Unbelievable Truth, 1989, and Trust, 1990. Sadly, she was found dead on November 1, 2006. The death was first rules as a suicide, but her husband pressed for an investigation which resulted in the conviction of a construction worker. She died at the age of 40. Number 1. James Gandolfini Gandolfini was best known for his portrayal of Tony Soprano, the Italian-American mafia crime boss in HBO's television series The Sopranos, 1999-2007. For this role, he won three Emmy Awards, five Screen Actors Guild Awards, and one Golden Globe Award. Gandolfini died suddenly at the age of 51 on a trip to Rome on June 19, 2013. If you like this video, do let me know in the comments, and obviously leave your likes too. Do not forget to share and subscribe. Above all, activate your notification bell so you don't miss the next video when it drops. Until next time, do take care and stay safe.